tiny. We have boat. Oh, hello, and welcome back to the tiny wee boat. This is our 23 foot beaver. You can tell she's looking great. She's had a bit of a paint job, and the plan for today is to do, you guessed it, it begins with an S, ends in a ding. Sanding. I like to call it sanding Saturdays. We're going to do a bit more sanding, a bit more priming. I actually learned that it's called priming and not primering. Hopefully, fingers crossed, by the end of the day, we will have a fully, beautifully painted boot. So wish us luck and enjoy. Victor is sanding the inside by hand. He's sort of getting into all the corners, all those nooks and crannies and bits that are really hard to get into. Boom, boom, boom. Everybody say sanding, sanding. Really, really hot outside. So we've got on SPF 30 and we're working hard. We're currently using 180p sanding disc to go over the primer to make it super smooth, ready to be painted. It's amazing when you run your hands over the freshly sanded primer. It's so smooth, so amazing. It's very important to hydrate on hot days like today. So the masking tape going on means one thing that we are preparing to paint, which is really exciting. Again, here's Victor sanding every tiny bit. Final prime from me, and it was actually very ridiculous. I was, you, I mean, you'll see it in a minute. I'm sitting, priming, and then I turn around and I actually stuck my, um, my back in the freshly painted primer, which was a bit silly. So we're going around the whole boat with this paper. This is to protect all the paintwork that we've already done. Here we are with the two pack polyurethane top coat. Is it polyurethane? Polyurethane, yeah, it is. Polyurethane top coat. That is anti slip beads that we are going to mix into the paint. And this is to be sprayed in any area that we'll be using to walk. 
so that we don't slip. Hence the name anti-slip. This is my first time using a spray gun. I thought I did a fantastic job. So it's time for a progress report. Today has been really hot, as I've mentioned a few times. We are currently painting the sides of the boat with anti-slip beads. This is so that we don't slip when we're jumping on and off the boat at the logs. And yeah, it's looking really great. It looks like sand and the paint. That I'm pretty sure that's exactly what it is. And yeah, we're really happy with the result so far. That is the compressor ruining the video. Thanks, compressor. Kinda just looks like we never dusted it, but definitely dusted it before painting. I can now say we have a non-slip beaver. That's funny. Carefully removing the paper to make sure that again, it doesn't touch any of the tacky paint. It's amazing how much preparation goes into to the boat before painting. More masking tape. So this is where Victor's getting ready for the anti-fouling paint. And you know I love a, a filler shot, so here you go. More sanding on the inside now. So I'm sanding the line where the anti-fouling paint will go. You can see it's been sort of primed and filled. I've got the mask on as well as a hoover on the sander just to make sure I'm not breathing in anything nasty. in the dark. Instead of dancing in the dark, painting in the dark. So the sun is going down. There was still painting to be done. That head torch has really come in handy.
This is the covers for the storage at the back of the boat. We wanted to paint them too. And thank you so much for watching. If you are enjoying these videos, I mean, feel free to subscribe. We've got more episodes coming soon. I really hope that you're enjoying them. And I hope you managed to stay to the end of the videos to see the ridiculous outtake. What have we been doing? Tiny. <laughs> we. Boat. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the tiny me <laughs>